Good morning everybody and welcome to my 33rd birthday vlog. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be 33 today. It has fallen on a Sunday, which means it's going to be a relaxing, hopefully joyous day. And I'm excited to see what unfolds. The house is starting to stir. I'm sure Michael has got things prepared. I'm just chilling in the bed, looking at this crisp, beautiful winter morning. Stay tuned for today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell and let's get into it. Fun fact, I was born at three minutes past midnight. When I wake up in the morning, it is actually my birthday. I am excited to spend some quality time with the family. My sister and mom are taking me out for a special treat. My sister and my mom are taking me out for a special treat in the middle of the day. And um, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy. Last night, Michael told me that we have breakfast plans. So I think I'm gonna get dressed just to make life a little bit easier. It is so chaotic out there and I'm worried about the toddlers just because Phineas has been sick literally for the last week. And I think today's the day that he's coming good, which is great news. But um, yeah, the dynamics are gonna be loud and noisy today, which is a blessing, but it's also overwhelming for my senses, so. Quarter to seven. Let's see what happens next. Thank you. Birthday to you. Hey, hello, my mama. That's the sweetest. I got the purple dress and I got the sparkles for you. So I just did purple. Mommy's resting. Hey, Eddie. Can you say happy birthday, Mama? Love you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, Mama. <laughs> the massive pictures, babe. <laughs> I like that. We are okay, That's hilarious. Guys are tired. Did you book for breakfast? Yeah. She gets to say twenty minutes away. What's in a twenty minute radius? Are you gonna trick me? Yes? Yes? Ah, you're gonna trick me. I thought so. It's true, we have the best cafes locally. Like, why would we leave our local spot? After we had breakfast this morning, which was very emotional, I think everyone was just a little bit hangering because Finn is getting over his cold. It was just a bit trialing. We went to church and then my sister, my mom, and a friend, we went to a gold class today for a high tea and we watched The Sound of Music.
It was such an amazing experience and the really great thing about this is they actually did the intermission which I desperately needed because I have very much a postpartum bladder so I, I appreciated having a toilet break midway through but oh my gosh that musical is so beautiful but at the same time so heart-wrenching because it's based off a true story. Now we're getting ready to go back home. I haven't seen the kids since this morning. We're gonna have family dinner, have cake, open some presents. It kind of feels a bit surreal because like it's my birthday and haven't opened Presents, yeah. Yes, extremely excited to see Mick and the kids. We are back home and it's five o'clock and while my parents are watching the kids play outside, Mick and I are gonna open birthday presents. I am personally a words of affirmation and gifts person. That's what fills my love tank. Waiting all day for this as, I don't even know how that may sound for some people. They might think it's very trivial, but this is something that I know is gonna fill me up. So one of my presents was the bag that I wore today, which Mick and I had picked out when we went into the city yesterday. But I'm excited to see some of the other stuff that he's picked. Hopefully my new book is in there. I did um, write a couple of books down that I really wanna read and I'm hoping that Mick has got me that. Here's a question for you. If you saw someone out with a birthday badge, would you say happy birthday? Because literally no one outside of my like church community even made mention. And it's just interesting. Present time. It's my belt. <laughs> Look, there's only a couple of things that I picked out. <laughs> There's something big in the middle. I put on my list. Oh, these are my eye patches. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Please. She's a turd. It's a chico. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not politically correct. Anymore. Okay, sorry, they're called cheekies now. Hey! <laughs> this is a big book. Is this, this is bigger than the other book. Oh, yeah. This is way bigger. Is it possibly because it's just a bigger book? No, that's like way bigger. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Very excited. It's not that much bigger. It's massively different. Look at it. It's yeah, like a like, baby book and a mummy book. But when they stand next to each other. Not that much. It's the same font size. Look. It's the same font size. She's just written literally a bigger book. Mm. <laughs> So this is book number one. If you haven't read this book, this book is amazing. And I'm very excited to read this. And I guess it's kind of a good thing that she's written like a bigger book because it means I get more. Because there is no third book at the moment. So this is like... It's gonna last you. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna... <gasps> I'm so excited. Another two years or something? Well, let's be honest, you'll read it in like three days. <laughs> <laughs> three. Thank you. <laughs> Love you. The last tradition that we have is we just write a letter to each other. We don't give any fancy cards. It's literally just a piece of paper. And a whole heap of words because that fills my tank. and I picked two more videos just for you because this parenting gig doesn't come to the rule book we only have each other and I'll see you over there. Bye!